This double-storied structure gets its name from the Pumukham or the pillared veranda on the ground floor, which once served as an important venue for the royals to meet officials and guests. The roof structure of this building is crowned with three wooden gables, tiered one above the other, forming an important visual feature. The gables are carved with auspicious symbols, including figures of gods, mythological creatures, and floral motifs. Elevated four feet from the ground level and approached by four steps, the outer veranda of the Pu Mukhamalika features 18 stone columns with wooden capitals. A standout feature at the entrance are the twin wooden brackets carved with figures of soldiers mounted on horses depicting a hunting scene. Three steps from the outer veranda leads us to the next level of this entrance foyer featuring a wooden ceiling embellished with 90 floral motifs, each different from the other. This ceiling is supported by 10 stone pillars with richly carved wooden capitals. The main entrance doorway of the Pumukhamalika is flanked on either sides by a raised platform. Overall, the veranda is 185 square meters in area and features 40 stone pillars. A few artifacts, including a granite cot, a Chinese armchair and Kudrakaran Vilaka, a brass hanging lamp featuring a rider on a rampant horse, are the major highlights. You can also see a collection of owner villa mounted on the wall. These are ceremonial bows painted with images of reclining Lord Vishnu. These bows are considered symbols of prosperity. Going past the entrance doorway and to the right is the Nataka Shala. Nataka means drama or theatre in Malayalam and as the name suggests, the Nataka Shala was once a space to stage performing arts. This old performance hall is 5.5 feet below the floor level of the veranda and accessed via a flight of stone steps. Today, this 180 square meter well-illuminated hall is used as a sculpture gallery.